Welcome back, guys, to The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. If by any chance you guys missed the previous video, we actually went ahead and checked out the lost levels of this game. And it's three individual levels. We played it with the narration on from the devs. And I personally found it to be a really, really cool experience. If you guys haven't checked that out, I think it's something most of you might actually enjoy. So in this video, we are going to be checking out the no return game mode, which I'm really pumped about. Now, before we begin, a massive thank you to PlayStation for the free copy and early access to The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. The no return game mode is a roguelike survival mode in which you will fight through a series of randomized combat encounters, accumulating in a boss fight. Death is permanent in no return. Acquired weapons, items, and upgrades are reset, and the new randomized map is generated for every new run. Select a character. Begin by choosing your character. Each character has a distinct starting loadout and unique traits. New characters can be unlocked by completing challenges. So first and foremost, we've got Ellie and we've got Abby. So here we have the character select menu. We only have Ellie and Abby as playable characters right now. The inventory is a handgun and a Molotov with a balanced play style for Ellie and close combat for Abby. She also has a hammer. So her traits are heal on melee kill, melee upgrade recipe, and brawler upgrade branch. 50% more supplements, Molotov recipe, two upgrade branches. So how do we unlock characters? Complete two encounters with Ellie. Unlocks Dina. So once you have Dina, in order to unlock her, you have to complete Ellie's challenges. And then to unlock Jesse, you need to progress Tina's challenges. Then you get Tommy. And then once you do challenges for Tommy, then you get Joel. I think I kind of scrolled through these, but I'm not even sure I paid that much attention. That's pretty sick. I like this one too. I'll go ahead and unlock this. Unlock the Mortal Kombat. Go ahead and unlock that. And grab this. That's pretty cool. Kill zone. Oh. What? All right, so hideout. You will return to this hideout between each combat encounter. Collect rewards for completing encounters. Then use the workbench and trading post to upgrade your character for the run. The planning board. Use the planning board to select your next encounter. Make a path towards the final boss. Encounters vary based on location, enemy faction, mods, and victory conditions. Let's see. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. Wow. Okay. So this is our workbench. And uh, I don't think we can do anything right now since we don't really have anything for that matter. Upgrade your weapons at the workbench between encounters. All right, so here we have what appears to be our levels, our maps. Seems like some of these have different mods. The logging camp's got thick fog. Melee kills restore health, increased enemy health. Oh, boy. And then all of that just leads to the arcade for a bloater boss fight. All right, here we go, Jackson. Encounter type assault. In assault groups of enemies spawn in waves. Their initial knowledge of your position varies per encounter. Use the downtime between waves to heal and resupply. A supply cache will appear after completing each wave. Use listen mode to reveal its location. Clear each wave. 
This is cool. So they're attacking Jackson. Wave is incoming. Okay, so... Okay, run was... Ooh. Run was the L1 button. Oh boy, here they come. Oh boy. Alright, so press to craft tools. Oh, yeah, we got Molotovs right here. I don't think I'm going to need a health kit any minute or seconds soon. Hopefully. Alright, there's one enemy over there. Alright, cool. Should I just try and kill him? I mean, I don't think I really need to be stealthy with these guys. I mean, I... Could just go all John Wick on him. Or I could be a bit uh, smart about my strategy here. Oh, he seems a little scared. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Right. Let's see if they drop something. Okay. Drop the melee weapon and some bullets. That's actually pretty good. Sprinting is loud and may reveal your position to enemies. Okay, that's the melee attack. We've got somebody coming this way. I think... Alright. I think... I think we're screwed. Oh, shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, I think, uh, just... I gotta warm up to it, and then I think we're just gonna go guns blazing. Truthfully. Uh... Gonna pick this one up. Alright. Our health seems to be just fine. Let's see where they're coming from. Oh! <gasps> God, we've got the supply cache right here. All right, they're creeping up on us. Easy does it. Got this dude right here. Boom! Right in the dome. That way. Keep him that way. Yeah. Oh shit. Where is he? Okay, he's hiding right there. Oh, fuck! Alright, well, that works. Alright, so I've got to be really quick to grab these supply caches. Here we go. What do we got? Nice. Alright, reload was R2, was it? Yes, R2. What else can I craft here? I'm gonna grab a medi just in case. We can also improve... Ooh. Very nice. Eva, we're under fire. Think that came from the it came from the supermarket, punk! Oof. Oh, I dare you. Encounter has been completed. We didn't really use any distractions or anything, but that's all right. All right, where's the supply cache? Do we not get one? Because we're going back to the hideout? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, so what do we got here? I got a B. That's pretty embarrassing. Uh, I should have gotten an A. Okay. I'm an elite gamer after all. 
but I'll take it. <laughs> so one more, and we we finally get to unlock Dina. I would really like to play with Joel. Completing challenges will permanently unlock new characters, skins, enemies, mods, and more. That is pretty interesting. So I wonder if you can repeat the same waves of enemies or the same level. Or do you have to do different ones in order to unlock or progress the unlocked characters? On returning to the hideout, be sure to collect your reward for completing the encounter. Okay, visit the trading post to exchange currency for weapons, items, and crafting recipes. Items for sale change each time you return to the hideout. Alright, so let's see what this is all about. Go ahead and unlock this crate down here. Okay, we've got 50 parts, 70 supplements, 12 currency. Alright, so the trading post's inventory refreshes after every encounter. So here we can get a rifle. Health kit times one. We can get a trap bomb, stun bomb recipe, or a trading post reroll. Okay, I think this might be helpful. Yes, definitely. A shotgun would have been nice, but I'll try my luck with the bolt action rifle. I think we ought to be all right. So now here we can do some upgrades. Um, I think stability for this needs to be improved. We've got fire rate, stability, recoil, stability for sure. Very nice. What happened to the skin? I thought we had skins on this crap. Huh. I could have sworn I added a skin to my weapons as well. Bro, I love that Mortal Kombat shirt. That's sick. Alright, so here we go. Um, If we go here, we can also craft silencers. That's good. That's actually going to be very helpful. Listen mode movements. Hmm. Improved Molotovs. Move faster in listen mode. And then here we've got increased the durability of crafted silencers. Alright, we'll do that next. I wonder if we craft anything here. We can use it once the, uh, the round starts. Anyways. So here we have... This is kind of different because if we go here, it shows a picture of Dina. Does that mean we unlock her if we finish that? Or... Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. See what happens. Some encounters have mods that add special rules and mechanics and can drastically alter the gameplay. You can view the mods for an encounter on the planning board or from the backpack menu. You can also unlock new mods by completing challenges. Allies will join you for some encounters. Look out for this on the planning board while choosing your route. Okay, so that basically just confirms. Instead of unlocking Dina, she's going to be my companion in this particular encounter. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. All right, Dina, let's get to work here. Man, the fog is real right now. What in the world? Holy smokes. I'm going here. Any supplies? Oh, shit. How many enemies? All right, this one has four enemies. I think we're going to go balls out. Fuck it. Perfect. I mean, the fog should... Oh, 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 oh. The fog should work against us as well as with us, correct? I think so. There's nobody behind us. So we should be... Oh, boy. Boom. Over there. 
got him. Nice. All right. Dino took him out. Don't let her get away. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit. She's out. Oh fuck. It's a bit cockier here. Oh my god. All right, reload. Perfection. Go ahead and swap out. Mother. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be doing this mode, like, all quietly and stuff. Unless, obviously, there's, like, clickers and crazy enemies, but as of right now, I think the best plan of action is to just be aggressive. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, God! Alright, hold on, hold on. Oh, boy. Damn, that was a little... That was a little sloppy there. Fuck. Boom. Excellent. Oh! Oh, fuck! Come on, Dina, take her out. All right, complete two encounters. This character is now available to play when you start a new run. I think I'm going to go and do a new run with Dina so we can get Jesse, Tommy, and then hopefully Joel. I really want to try and play with Joel. Onward. Look at this. This is cool. We're playing with Dina. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right. Let's, let's try this out. So she's going to be starting off at gas station. Cool. And we got to do three runs to unlock uh, Jesse. And then we get Tommy. And then with Tommy, we get Joel. Decreased enemy health. Okay, well that's good. Shit. Let's go into the gas station. This ought to be easy. It's the first level. Let's get some supplies, craft some tools. Excellent. All right, Dina. We got this. This kind of feels like if we're playing some sort of DLC. Still kind of bummed we never had one. Considering we had one for the original. Oh, this seems to be empty. What a bummer. All right, what do we got? Little Magnum. <laughs> Boom. Oh, these fuckers, bro. They're creepy as shit. Oh, fuck. Uh. That's right, Dina. Oh! Ooh. Oh my god. Damn, I thought it was going to be humans. Fuck. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh shit. Perfect, perfect. Oh, damn. Dina got them hands. Oh. Dina's got them hands. Fucking Dina, man. 
I mean, to, fair, to, to be fair, this little magnum packs a punch. Even though I didn't really use it. So. Let's craft this. Oh, she's got pipe bombs, stun bomb, and a trap mine. Perfect. Over here, stupid. Get over here. Sweet. Ah, that actually played out really nicely. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. See what we got. We got currency, supplements, and parts. Let's go ahead and uh Shotgun holster, semi auto pistol. Hmm. I'm gonna shoot again. Nope. Should I shoot again? I think I'm gonna hold off. Yep, I'm gonna hold off. I mean, the pistol might. I don't know. Pistol might actually not be a bad idea. Stability. For sure. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna get the pistol just in case. Just in case. I don't want to risk it. Alright, so here we'll have Jesse. And then vaulting boost movement speed. Let's go with Jesse. I feel like a lot of these things kind of substitute the missing aspects of gameplay that I would have personally enjoyed. Like seeing Jesse and Dino get to, you know, play with them. Sorry, I was drinking water. Man, they don't give you a whole lot of time either. I'm gonna go upstairs, get the high ground, hoping that these are gonna be enemies, human enemies, rather than clickers and. Yep, exactly. Well, that's what I like to see. Hey, Perhaps. Uh... Here, here. Come on, Jesse, fuck! Let's go ahead and swap out. Right there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, he's a little scared. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Jesse! Oh, he just saved my life. I loved how she grabbed his axe and just killed him with it. Savagery at its finest. I love it. Alright, hold on. Let me reload. This is good. Not that time. Okay, so that one you don't place it on the ground. Oh, shit! Come on. Come on. Fuck. Oh! Oh my god. Yo, this girl's wild. Alright. So I know that mode got cancelled. Not, excuse me, I'm, that's insulting. part of the same universe, so I guess. Can we call it mode? It's a game. It was technically a game. An online game. You got cancelled, but man, you really forget. Oh, fuck! You really
totally forget. Hold on. How immersive the combat was in this game for, for what it was. Oh, fuck. It's so much more improved than the first Last of Us game. Oh, that was quite enjoyable. Grab some ammo. Okay. I might have to turn off the vibration because it's fucking me up when I shoot. to unlock Jesse. 75 parts, supplements, and 9 currency. A new upgrade branch. Alright, we'll go ahead and... Oh, we've got... Oh, this is good, bro. This is really good. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Let's get it. I think we also have here faster prone movements, move faster while holding a hostage, allowing you to quickly reposition a shielding yourself. Stealth kills are faster and keep low profile. I just need to do one more to get Jesse. Oh, those were fucking claymores. That's right. Oof. Oh, that's nasty stuff, bro. Sorry, stupid. Oh, they're all coming from here. They are coming from the same sp Okay, you fuck off now. Easy does it. Oh my god. find you there you are yeah there I am oh cut you up. oh fuck oh I'm sorry I feel like those claymores give me a little boost of confidence Definitely need some heals. That's one. That's two. Excellent. Oh, hello. This little supply cache is backing me up right now. Oh, fucking hell. Nice. Okay. Alright, Dino, we gotta move. Let's go. This might be a good spot, because we've got, uh... 
I'm gonna craft one more of these. Don't think I need. Oh man, that was money. That was so good. I see her! I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Matter of fact, don't you have a dog around here? You got a loose canine or side. something? Gotcha. Yeah, come over here from the side. I, I dare you. Oh, that dude had a shoddy. <laughs> oh, how ridiculous. 50 parts, supplements. Again, I had completely forgotten to do any upgrades uh, prior to the last round starting. Bolt action. Ammo for the bow. Yeah, I feel like yes. I feel like yes. I need some ammo for the bow. What is this? Silencer recipe. I feel like yes, too. Ah, oh, the Molotov would have been great. All right. Bow. I feel like draw speed, stability. Good. Let's add some of that. And then we're gonna go. Oops. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Let's go for this. Ooh. Stability, capacity. More damage. Let's do stability. Hmm. All right. And so now I think we can also go here. After killing an enemy with a strike for a short time, your next melee attack will be a, uh, your next melee attack will also be a strike. Oh, we are in Jackson. Mystery encounter. What is this? This is intriguing. To say the least. Alright, let's go ahead and load up here. Fuck me. Find the cow! Are you Come on, are you fucking That mod. Okay. What the fuck? So every melee attack turns the enemies into fire? Oh, we're going to die here. so screwed come on baby oh two more I love how they call each other by names I think that's so sick it just makes them feel so much more realistic you know Nah, 
fuck that. We're already in heat. I don't think I need to pull out the the bow. That's fucking right. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Fuck. All right, how many waves is this? All right, I'm gonna heal up here. Yep. I'm gonna craft another mech kit. Can I craft another mech kit? Do we have? Oh my goodness. Bro, what in the world? Uh, there she is! I'm so sorry. Oh! Might as well take advantage of the mod. Ooh, right through the cracks. There's a bat right here. I'm gonna swap this. Ah, fuck it. Make a grid. Oh my gosh, one more. One more. Uh. Oh, so there's also... There's workbenches in the levels as well. I had no idea. There's one right there. That's pretty sweet. Bosses, this confrontation is the final encounter in your no return run. Go all out. You can unlock new boss encounters by completing challenges. Hmm. All right. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm probably going to die here. But at least we get to show you guys what that is like. Huh. Shotgun. 100%. I'll get to eat that for sure. Explosive arrow recipe. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Melee upgrade. Grab some of that. Thank you. Ooh. Lead pipe. Health kit. Molotov. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so here we have... I feel like the shotgun's gonna be... Capacity, stability, fire rate, stability, recoil. I think we're good there. I think we need the bolt action and possibly increase the firepower. That's a hundred though. I'm gonna go for a smaller upgrade just in case. Damn, we could have had that. Reload speed. All right. And then one last thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna upgrade Dina. Okay. Let's see. The momentum lasts longer. Increase maximum health. Ooh. Wow. Almost. Fucking hell. Craft a suppressor. Craft some explosive arrows. We're probably gonna need all that. I don't know if we got the... The mystery encounter is a mod. Is that what it is? Okay, they're just gonna throw me in here like that? Like, like, no, no. Whoa! Whoa! We need fire. They don't want to eat like a Molotov or some shit. 
Oh, no bueno. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, he's on my ass. Nope. Fuck. Nope. Ah! Fuck. I just realized that there's actually a health bar on this dude. I want to get the arrows. I want to try them out. Nice. Yes. One more. Oh, no more explosive arrows. out let's go bitch hell yeah damn we did it with Dina <laughs> Ellie ought to be embarrassed <laughs> I honestly was going to back out as soon as I unlocked Jesse, but I figured, hey, if we're going to showcase some gameplay, might, might as well just show off what it looks like. Interesting. Thirty percent more accuracy. Silencer recipe pipe bomb. Get the upgrade branch. Hmm. Low health damage bonus, photo mode filters, invisible enemies. Yeah, I don't know about that. Stun restores enemy. I don't know about invisible enemies. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Hang out. Press triangle and character select to select the skin. Gambits. Gambits are challenges that appear once per encounter. Riskier gambits give great rewards, including currency, ammo health. This will appear in future runs. A new boss, theater infestation. Right. Right. So, we are now playing with Jesse. And I'm at the point where I don't know if I'm going to be including all the runs. I'm probably just going to edit a bunch of them out because they're all very repetitive. Um, up until the point that, you know, one, you unlock a new character. Or two, you get a boss. I feel like he'll be here forever. Uh, but anyways. Let's start off. I think we got to do three to unlock uh, Tommy. So we'll go here. Start off at the gas station. Ooh, we've got thick fog here. I just remembered I got to go. I got I to gotta run. Shit. Go inside gas station. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, this guy already has a suppressor. The pipe bomb is super effective and helpful. So that's good. Let's see what we got here. Can I remove the silencer? No. I'll, I'll just put it on for now. Might as well. Craft some tools. What do we got? More pipe bombs. He's got a really clutch tool right off the bat. That's actually really good. The pipe bomb. Super effective. Dare I say overpowered. I'm going to grab this. 
Oh, these are infected. Right. Go ahead and finish them off. Some stealth gameplay with Jesse. I like it. This is pretty sweet. Playing with Jesse, that's dope. Oh, look at the fog. My god. Perfect. Finish him off, baby. Let's go. One more. I think the other one's actually in here. Or not. He's stalking me right now. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Damn it, Jesse. You're a savage. I didn't you were that crazy. Grab and kill an enemy from stealth. Okay. From stealth, huh? That's going to give me coins. Okay. Here we go. They're coming. Is that going to give me the challenge or what? Yes. Perfect. That's the gambit challenge. Well, that's another one. And I think there's one more. Cool. Where's the other one at? I think we can craft another, another med kit. All right, perfect. Ooh, and so it begins. Okay, here they come. I think I'm just gonna go all in here. It's only three of them, right? three of them. All right, I'll take this one out. Kind of reminds me of Abby, like the whole neck snapping thing. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, this guy uses fucking hands? Oh, he's insane. Oh, this guy's crazy. Oh, oh my God. Since when, Jesse? Since when? All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. I like it. This dude's a gangster. Okay, so... Can't craft anything. No problem.
So yeah, I think it's cool, man. Um, I just feel like, personally, I don't know. It feels like this could get repetitive. I mean, obviously, once you unlock certain things, and I think there's really not much else to do. To some extent, I feel like these characters have kind of become iconic. Just because the game itself is so cool. Um, I like that we can craft a melee weapon. That's actually really good. Um, restores a moderate amount of health. No. Melee upgrade recipe. A shiv recipe. That's actually very useful. And then here we've got... Ooh, the crossbow. My goodness. Not half bad. Enemies drop bombs on death. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh lord, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, so I think I kinda wanna be at a dead end. Just so I get like flanked or anything. But then again, here we are. Oh boy. This is not a dead end. Where are they coming from? Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> that's so crazy. So the bombs that the enemies drop, they don't sound an alarm or anything? Dana? Sorry. I forgot about that. That's my fault. Oh, we've got a machete. I don't think we need. It's good to know, though. We, we've got, we've got an axe right there. Keep that in mind. And craft a silencer. Distract enemies with brick or bottles. <laughs> Bro, that's so nuts how they just fucking blow up like that. <laughs> that's comical. So scared. That was easy. Absolutely perfect execution on that last and final round. Loved it. All right, so we got Tommy, and this is crazy because we got a custom sniper, sturdier against melee, but we cannot dodge. <laughs> oh my god, that's some bullshit. But you know what? Honestly, we're going for a new run. We're going to cancel out Jesse's and we're going to go for our good old Uncle Tommy here. 
sniper play style. That's that's gonna be interesting. All right. All right. Damn, we're playing with Tommy. That's dude. That's so cool. So we got to do four runs to get Joel here. All right. This is what I'm talking about. So if we cannot dodge with Tommy, we're gonna either have to be aggressive or extremely stealthy. Fucking Tommy, bro. This man is more than capable of dodging. I am sorry. This is abusive. Oh, that's some bullshit. <clears throat> okay, we got infected coming. No big deal. Oh, no, not these fucks. Uh oh. So if this guy can't dodge... Oh my god. Actually ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That just makes me nervous. Alright, let's see. Maybe it's best we don't waste our ammo. <laughs> Probably better. We're gonna have some, uh... Oh! Damn, the kick of death! There's clickers. Yep, oh, those are clickers. Alright, Tommy. Let's figure this out, baby. Guy's a monster. This is crazy, bro. This is gonna be really difficult to get Joel. Grab two enemies from stealth. We're gonna have to be just stealthy. It's the only way we can do this. I mean, there's other ways, but the best way. Fuck. All right, let's go ahead and reload. Come on, Tommy, fuck. Oh! Come here, fucker. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that made me a little nervous. Right. Shit. Nah, we did it. We did it. We good. We survived. Okay, replace pistol grip to decrease sway. There it is. And so, with that said, I think we're pretty good to go. I right, survive against continuous enemy reinforcements until the time runs out. Oof. Where are we, dude? This is some bullshit. Oh, man. Jesse, 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 Jesse. What is this, bro? So do they know we're here? Fuck, they already know we're here.
Oh, so you have to be aggressive because they keep coming. They keep multiplying, bro. <gasps> oh, asshole. Oh, you got to be aggressive here. Okay. Okay. Come here. Fuck that shit. No, 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 no. See, this I like. They kind of changed it up on us. Oh, oh fuck. Excellent. Ah, this is easy. 20 seconds left. Over here. You can't really see shit. On the left, Archer. Archer is dead. <laughs> Well, that was different. I would imagine if you get that sort of challenge later down the line, it'll be a lot harder. Whether it be more reinforcement or a longer time for more aggressive enemies like clickers and such. Eventually. Alright, so I've gone ahead and completed a couple more rounds, if you will. And I've backed out so we could finally just for one more time be able to play with our boy here Joel so this character is now available he's got a custom revolver sturdier against melee and cannot dodge either all right come on let's see what we're dealing with uh, damn fucking Joel all right so I'm not gonna go all the way through I'm just gonna probably do like one or two rounds with him just so we can kind of experience uh, all of the characters so again I might edit a bunch of this out and just include like one round per character two rounds per character something like that just so we're not bored right um we've got invisible enemies that that is some bullshit that's gonna be the mod for this starting level here in jackson now you tell me if that's not some shit that's ridiculous that is actually <laughs> Freaking ridiculous. Like, excuse me? You can only see their shadows. Wow. Okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna do this. Alright, once you shoot him. Oh, that's weird, bro. That's fucking weird. <laughs> that is so awkward. Oh, look at the mag. Or this can hold a lot of bullets. At least grab him. We've got a clicker up front, I think. Where's the clicker? Uh, I'm pretty sure I hear a clicker. Now, funny enough, I cannot dodge. I don't know how I killed him immediately, but I did. I have the shiv, but. I don't want to take my chances. Stun an enemy with a brick or bottle. Okay, so if you stun the enemy, you can actually... Maybe take away the mod of them being invisible. Let's see, do I have a brick or a bottle? I sure do. Let's go ahead and reload this bad boy up. They're coming from back here. Take this one out. I'm going to lower my chances of dying. Okay. Well. Oh. Fuck it. I forgot he can't dodge. 
and we couldn't hit him with a bottle. <laughs> I'm sorry, that feels so weird just playing like that. Can't believe we're back here playing with Joel again. Ah, oh, dude. Would have been nice if things were different. If you know what I mean. Would have been nice. Oh, we got an A still. So that's... I'll take that. Oh, kill six enemies using the same gun without reloading in an encounter. Okay. Ooh. Hey, Dina. Shit. Scream all you want. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. Crazy. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. But you're dead. Let's go, Joel. Let's get this. Let's show them how it's done, Joel. Where they at? Oh! <laughs> yes. All right, let's stay back a bit. Oh, she almost got me. not expecting that. Look at this dude. Fucking shit. Got Fuck, man. There's one more. One more. She ain't gonna guide you shit. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Reload. Okay, good. There you go, Dina. Oh, shit. Then do it. I dare you. Uh, Dina, I need some help. Perfect. I think there's, yep, there's one more. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on over. Thank you. 
sorry, bruh. You did. No? Wow. They didn't die to a pipe bomb? Sheesh. That's crazy. Why you die to that? Yo, that's crazy. He didn't die to a pipe bomb. None of them. Fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I see stability. What do we got for this bad boy? Mm, extra mag. I like it. I think I don't know man I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off but we'll try uh, I don't like that you can't dodge that just changes everything more healing good momentum perfect all right Joel let's get everything reloaded only one bullet are you Fucking kidding me. You ought to be kidding me. All right, we got 11 now. That's a little better. Oh. Uh. Okay. Make sure we're loading everything. Sweet. All right, let's get it. We're going to the theater. I don't even know what this is all about, but I guess we'll find out right now. Boss. Theater infestation. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Also, this is like... You gotta eliminate them? We have shivs? Perfect. Oh boy, yeah, there's no way. There's, there's no fucking way. All right, maybe there is a way. Because where there is a way, there is a will. Or is it where there is a will, there's a way? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I dare you. Come at me, sucker. Come at me, sucker. Yeah. I'm playing no more games. I'm fed up with this bull shit. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, that played beautifully. Oh, he's crawling at me. I'm sorry. Joel, this is not where we died, Joel. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yo, that was tense. That was, that was, that was nuts. I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I barely got to move in that little spot, but we got an S ranking, so that's pretty dope. Okay. New gambits, kill enemies with three different weapons. Those are just basically challenges. New skin unlocked festival for Jesse. A good hunt. A new faction and boss unlocked. Rattler Captain. There's a lot of unlockables. If, if you like all that stuff, it's pretty cool. All right, so I did something that I told myself I wasn't going to do. I played with all the good characters of the story, if you want to consider them that. 
That would be incorrect, but with the first run of characters, I guess. And um, Ellie, Dina, Jesse, Tommy, Joel, and Abby. I was not going to do that. And I just ended up playing and I'm kind of happy that... Excuse me, we did not play with Abby. I'm kind of happy that we were able to play with Joel and unlock him. So... I think we'll call it here. Please, in the comments, let me know what you think of this mode, the no return mode, officially out in The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, I still think it's it's a fun little addition, especially for the $10 upgrade. It's something that maybe you guys are into. Me personally, I, I, I tend to like play these maybe once or twice, and then I'm kind of done with it. But uh, there is still a lot of other things that I know that I'm going to enjoy. I'm just, again, curious to see what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching again and hanging out for a little while. Thank you, PlayStation, for the free early access and the copy to this version of The Last of Us 2. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one.